One of the best examples of diminishing margin utility is how stores price different sizes of goods. What's neat about this example is it shows how the two models we've learned about so far, utility and supply and demand, work together to explain a real world mystery. Take Starbucks. You can get a tall iced coffee for $2.25, or you can get twice as much coffee for 70 cents more. Or McDonald's, where a small drink's $1.22, but you can get twice as much soda for an extra 50 cents. Same thing with ice cream, milk, or pretty much anything you can think of. What's going on here? It may seem strange you can get so much extra liquid for such a low price, but it makes sense after you consider diminishing margin utility. Suppose you come into a store thirsty. You're willing to pay a lot to get something to drink. But once you've quenched your thirst, the additional drink doesn't mean as much to you. So that means your demand is high for some drink, but not so high for additional drink. Same with ice cream. We all want ice cream on a hot day, but we don't really need a huge ice cream. We'd like it, but not as much as we want that first bite of ice cream. What does this mean for our supply and demand model? On a hot day, demand for 16 ounces of sodas can be very high, but the demand for 16 more ounces will be lower. This is diminishing margin utility in action. The restaurant could charge a lot for 16 ounce soda, but if they were to try to charge twice as much for 32 ounce soda, they won't sell many. They can charge something for going from a small to a large. After all, more is better. If you're thirsty, you don't mind having some more to drink. But they can't charge as much as they charge for a small. So here we can see what happens when diminishing margin utility meets supply and demand. Diminishing margin utility means that your demand for getting some soda is high, but your demand for additional soda is lower. Lower demand means a lower price could be charged. And we see that in action when we choose across food quantities.